Today, Punjab is still under martial law. The elected state government has been suspended, replaced by presidential rule, which is something like the War Measures Act imposed in Canada during the FLQ crisis. As far as the terrorists are concerned, we give no quarter. Julio Ribeiro is Inspector General of Police in Punjab. They are killers, they're killing innocent people, they're killing women, they're killing children, they're killing Sikhs, they're killing Hindus, and they just kill. So those who are moving about with guns, trying to rule the place, going to kill people, for them, we show no quarter, we give no quarter. But radical gunmen don't back down either. This mock gunfight was staged at the Punjab Police College to teach local constables what to do when they face the real thing. Here's how an alert patrol handles a roadside ambush. The battle for Khalistan has sent police back to school to learn anti-terrorism tactics, but officials admit this is a war nobody is winning. Look, we are facing classical terrorism, and terrorism is not something that can be wished away. It does not end overnight. It is going to take time. Because at the moment, what we want to do is, basically, is to manage it, keep it under uh, acceptable limits. Night patrol is the worst time for both radicals and police. This is the time of roadblock, ambush, and revenge. Everyone is on edge. In Punjab during 1987, there were 1,230 people killed in shootouts with police, nearly double the number in 1986. Police say they're going after terrorist leaders. Amnesty International says the police have gone too far. Jail without trial, torture, and according to Yvonne Terlinger of Amnesty's London office, there are allegations of fake encounters. We are also concerned about allegations of quote, encounter killings, um, which are incidents where the um, police kill um, political opponents in um, what are alleged to be staged encounters. And um, we are also concerned about similar allegations that the police and paramilitary forces um, do kill innocent civilians um, in situations described as riot control. There will be mistakes. I don't say there are no mistakes, but whenever there's a mistake, we acknowledge it and we say we are sorry.